Hey, so now let's take a look at how we use the rotate tool to spin something in this environment or to even twist it and manipulate it like we did the move tool. The move tool doesn't just move things around. It can also distort and misshape things. The rotate tool can do the same thing. Okay, so come on over here. Press orbit on your zoom dial. Press down on that so you're orbiting. Plus shift on your keyboard. These are all previous tutorials. And go over to the grass a little bit so we have a blank area to work in, the virtual grass. And draw two different shapes, a box shape and a circle shape down on the grass. Just a reasonably size, doesn't have to be massive, doesn't have to be tiny. And push pull both of those into three dimensional forms. And this is what we're gonna work with. All right, so now the rotate tool works like putting a line right through the middle of what's called a face. This box has one, two, three, four, five, and the back side is six, six faces or six sides. This cylinder has one, two, three faces, essentially, the top, the bottom, and the roundness of the edge. Depending on which face you're on, sketch rotate tool is gonna to put a line right through the middle of that and spin it around that face, okay? So go to the rotate tool, and to do this, to use it, you have to click one time and let go to establish where the line is going to go through, this imaginary line, this axle. Move away from that. Doesn't really matter where or how far. Click a second time and let go. It looks like nothing happened, but actually something did. It established where this imaginary axle is going to go through this and start to spin it when you move your mouse. So now move your mouse and all of the edges that are connected to this front face are also connected to the back face. So SketchUp is trying to reconcile, well, what do I do with this exactly? It's like taking a paper milk carton and spinning the top and the bottom and twisting it. What would happen to the sides or the edges? It'd do something like this. And if you click a third time, you'll put it in place. Now orbit around and check your work. It's pretty fun. Got some cool shapes and forms. So if you didn't want that to happen, but you actually wanted to rotate the entire box, you do this, Control Z and undo that. Go to the select tool. And this is a previous tutorial on selecting something. Go ahead and select all of this, all dimensions of it. And the whole thing turns blue. Okay, now try to rotate it. And you will click one time and let go, move out along this protractor, click a second time and let go. And now the entire box spins. Ah, okay, so if you didn't wanna misshape it or distort it, you have to select the entire object so that you can spin the entire object. But if you didn't wanna spin it there and you actually wanted to come on the side and spin it, you could do that and spin it around the side. Ta-da. Okay, let's try it on the cylinder. First, to get to the cylinder, this is still selected and highlighted blue. You have to deselect this. So you basically go to the select tool and click in the grass. And now it's not focused on this anymore. Come to the cylinder, go to the rotate tool and do the same thing on the cylinder, but do it on the top. Somewhere on this, if you click in the middle, it'll have an even spin. If you click out on the edge, it'll have an off angle spin. Go somewhere near the middle, click one time to put your imaginary line through it. Move away from that, click a second time out to the edge. Now move it around, spin it around. And you're literally like taking an aluminum can, like a soda can and twisting the top and bottom and just cr almost crushing it, just twisting the whole thing. And if you go all the way around until the center pinches, you'll have something that looks like an hourglass. Really beautiful form. You could have so much fun in this environment. Or, Undo, undo that, control Z. If you wanted to rotate this entire thing, select the entire cylinder. One, two, three. There it is. And go to the rotate tool and click an edge. Move away, click a second time and rotate the entire cylinder. Ta-da. And that's a fun way to not only rotate an entire object, but to use the rotate tool, just like the move tool distorts, to distort the shape of an object. We'll see you for the next tutorial.